Karen and Chris, as we stand here today under these trees, my eyes see one thing. I see Papa God's faithfulness. I see his goodness. I see his loving kindness. I found you right when you walked in. I felt it. There was something magic in this room. I found you in an unexpected moment. All the world got quiet and I knew Standing here together with your hand in mine I want to know I forever feel Chris, like my best friend, my strength, and my dearest love. You are my laughter when joy is scarce, my courage when fear is the only thing I feel. Who would have thought that we'd be here today? A kid from Western Canada and a kid from Florida. I had no idea that meeting you would change my life the way that it did. Karen, I love you. That's it. <laughs> I promise to never let you forget that. I'm beyond thankful that you love me. And I promise to choose and remember that thankfulness every day. That day in April when you and the boys wandered into my little coffee shop and asked me where to find the fruit roll-ups, I had no <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> I had no idea that this would be where we ended up, but look at us now. I promise to stand with you when trouble is there to meet us, and to trust you with every part of who I am. I also promise that we will smile big and laugh often, and that I will never hold back from you in this life. You have brought joy, peace, and comfort to my life. I am forever grateful that you asked for my hand. I can't promise that life will be perfect. <laughs> we already know that it's not. But I promise to always choose us. Today I promise a lifetime for better or worse. I promise to put you and our family before myself. I choose you today in front of our family and our friends. I promise to always to strive always strive to honor you both in my words and actions. I promise to do my best to show and treat you with grace, to seek God and always encourage you. You are a man of honor, strength, and courage, and I'm honored to stand here and promise myself to be solely yours for the rest of our lives. I love you, I love you, I love you forever. You are truly my dearest friend, my greatest confidant, and my deepest love. Thank you for choosing me. I love you endlessly. Standing here together with your hand in mine I want to know what forever feels like Karen, look at us. When we met, I never would have suspected that this is where life would lead us. You've always felt so familiar, like we were lifelong friends from the start. You've made me feel like I've never had to be anything but myself, and I'm so thankful for that. Spark, every time I see you. Stars, when you walk in. There's no such thing as ordinary Really we are quite contrary to Everything that I thought I knew Dear Christopher, I never thought that I would find myself in this position. I didn't know one could feel something so deeply they actually can't find the words to express it. But here I am trying to accurately explain to you what it is that I'm feeling and finding myself at a loss. This past year was one of the hardest and most terrifying of my life. And the thought that scared me the most was never seeing you again. You've helped me and stood by me as I've learned to dance in the rain and find laughter and joy amidst the pain. 
You are my rock, and I am excited to begin life together, to laugh together, to cry together, and to continue to learn how to love each other. You are my dearest love, my greatest joy, my best friend, and truly the greatest gift God has ever given me. I love you endlessly. And you, you put your hand in mine. But you don't ever have to wonder winter slumber to the summertime. I'm always on your side. I, so let's start. Well, Chris and Karen, you have pledged your faith to each other today in the company of family and friends, and therefore I get to pronounce you as husband and wife. Congratulations. Woo! And Chris, you may now shake hands with your bride. Oh, God. Sure. I am yours. And so without any further ado, I'm happy to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Chris Hale. I am yours. Will you be mine? Let's start a fire. I want to keep you warm. Oh, come and strike up the choir. Throw open all the doors. Oh, I've looked low and high, and I've never been so sure. Darling, let's start a fire, I want to keep you warm Come and strike up the choir, throw open all the doors Oh, I've looked low and high and I've never been so sure I am yours You Chris, I am honored to have you as a son. You have brought things out of Karen that I haven't seen in years. And that's what makes me know that this is from God. So, my blessing is important, but the fact that I know it's from Him means that you have His blessing, and that's more important. Because that lasts forever. And you 